we can often hear about GMOs which are mainly intended for the food industry. However, many people overlook the fact that the world is already full of other creatures whose genes have also been changed in laboratories and under the guidance of people. In this video we will show you the most unusual creatures created by scientists in laboratories. Be careful, they've already gotten to altering the genes of pigs and cows that many of us eat. If you're against scientists who interfere with nature and spoil it, then subscribe to the channel and express your opinion in the comments. Glowfish Perhaps the most famous of the genetically modified fish can be considered glowfish or shining fish. They are obtained from aquarium fish Danio rario. And their main advantage is the ability to glow with a variety of fluorescent colors, such as green, purple, pink and orange. For the first time, these representatives of the fauna were put on the sale back in 2003 and we can safely say that they became the world's first genetically modified domestic animals. You may ask, how did scientists manage to achieve such a glowing color? They worked with a gene called green fluorescent protein, originally isolated from a tropical jellyfish that naturally caused bright green bioluminescence. Scientists inserted this gene into the embryo of the Danio fish, thanks to which it gained the ability to emit light, both in daylight and in ultraviolet light. Super Cow Cows and bulls of the Belgian blue or double-muscled breed look like creatures that just eat tons of steroids and work out in the gym. But we perfectly understand that in reality this is not the case. In fact, this species owes its appearance to genetics and many years of selective breeding. Back in the second half of the 19th century, scientists combined the two breeds thanks to which fleshy cows appear that give fat milk and which after retirement could be packaged in hundreds of cans. However, after 1960, such cattle began to be raised for only one purpose – for slaughter. And all because of the acute shortage of meat in the country and the general economic instability. By the way, this trend continues today. It should also be said that these animals do not actually have any additional muscle groups. They have the same muscles as other types of cattle. It's just that the muscles of these blue cows are at least twice as developed as those of their relatives. Genetic scientists managed to achieve this effect by blocking a gene that regulates the secretion of the myostatin protein. It was this gene that was responsible for suppressing the growth of muscle tissues when they reached a certain size. This is how genetic scientists literally created the real Schwarzenegger of the animal world. Mouse ear We're dealing with a mouse that has something like a human ear on its back. Do you agree that such a sight causes very strange emotions? In fact, this growth is some kind of cartilaginous structure in the shape of a human ear, which was grown by seeding cells into a biodegradable mold that has the same shape. By the way, this ear was created by Dr. Charles Vacanti back in 1995. After some time, scientists among themselves began to call his creation a headphone created to demonstrate a method of making cartilage structures for transplantation to patients, absorbable polyester tissue was infiltrated with bovine cartilage cells and only then implanted under the skin of a hairless mouse. It is not entirely clear how this process took place, but the result of this process is very clear to everyone. И у нас уже ни рыбы, ни раков, там ни воздуха, ни пищи, ничего. И мы подыхаем медленно и все одновременно. И нас утешают то, что ничего зато медленно. Envirapig. Pigs with modified genes have become a real discovery in the field of science and for many reasons. 
the United States Food and Drug Administration has approved genetically modified Envirapig, which can be used for both food and medical research. Also, these pigs, approved for limited production, produce 65% less phosphorus in animal waste and are therefore more environmentally friendly. Enviropig lacks Gagili antigen, which can lead to acute food allergies in people with alpha-gal syndrome. In addition, the tissues and organs of pigs in the future will be able to solve the problems of immune rejection in patients who receive xenografts. Scientists hope that soon Enviropigs can be improved to the point where they are completely safe. And also scientists were able to modify the genome of these animals, bringing them as close as possible to humans, which in the future may help to cope with the lack of organs for transplantation. And now, friends, imagine that we will eat the meat of these animals. Don't you think that it smells like cannibalism? Transparent frogs People all over the world have long been against the idea that scientists use animals for their scientific experiments. Instead, many companies are now even starting to create computer simulations as an alternative method. But the American scientists have gone in such a middle way. Even though they used living beings, they still decided to do without cruel treatment towards them. And we must admit that such newly created demonstration amphibians are more suitable for experiments than ordinary frogs. This is because scientists were able to create transparent frogs that help them observe changes in internal organs. For example, it can be aging processes, cancerous processes, the effects of various chemicals on their body. The fact is that transparent frogs do not need to be dissected at all in order for specialists to observe their internal organs, blood vessels or eggs. Such skin allows you to freely study how the organs of these animals behave. And we must agree, this is a real miracle of genetic engineering. The main thing is not to eat them. Sterile mosquitoes Specialists of the British company Oxitech, engaged in the study of small insects, are very interested in a certain type of mosquito that carries a severe virus that causes the dangerous dengue fever. And unfortunately, a vaccine against this scourge has not been yet created. After the research, specialists were able to modify the genome of insects by introducing a gene into them that causes a rather quickly lethal outcome. At the same time, in the laboratory, they could keep mosquitoes alive by adding certain antibiotics to their food. Then the males were released into the wild, where they mated with the opposite sex, passing on the lethal gene to their offspring, who in turn died at an early age without receiving antibiotics. And scientists do not even doubt that after a while they can completely destroy the population of these dangerous insects. And also, experts made some changes in the genome of mosquitoes so that genetically modified individuals began to glow in the dark. And thus, it became possible to monitor their distribution from generation to generation. All this certainly sounds good, victory over the disease and so on, but we must beware that later all these experiments do not harm not only all of us, but also the planet. Безусловно, ответственность ученого огромна перед миром. Перед миром, понимаете? Well, dear friends, how can we summarize? You don't need to be a scientist to see that they have already genetically modified almost all vegetables and fruits. Apples, tomatoes, pears have long become like rubber and tasteless. And now they are experimenting with meat. Who gives them permission to do this and who finances their activities is clear. It can only be the government. All these GMOs are empty food for humans. You filled your stomach, but you didn't get any vitamins. In addition, we will receive diseases along with this meat, since no GMOs can improve our health. We live in difficult times, dear friends. So be careful and take care of others. See you soon.
Не знаю точно, но вполне может быть. Другого хлопка уже почти никто на планете не выращивает. Что я точно могу сказать, так это что ваши джинсы на 100% сделаны из трансгенных волокон. И порошок, которым вы их стираете, тоже имеет в своей основе биоинженерные ферменты.